welcome back. Uh, this problem is actually much better looking than the one I've drawn. It's got a car and it's driving up behind the truck. And the car is obviously going too fast and it's going to run into the back of the truck. So what happens is the car in this question actually runs up. I'm like, ah, smash it all up there. Rah. Yeah. Anyway, here's the thing, though. They do not hit and stick after they've run into each other. In this case, it actually says that the car has a final speed of 18 independent of the truck in this problem. I forgot to draw the wheels. Oh, good grief. Well, it was a wreck. It could went bad. I wasn't wrecked and only had three wheels after it was over. But anyway, this question is actually looking for that final velocity of the truck. Well, in this case, it's not a hit and stick. So the problem's just MV plus MV equals MV plus MV. So good deal. Matter of fact, I'm going to do some. I'm going to actually take what I've just wrote and I'm going to give myself some room above it because I'm going to go back and doodle around with this thing in a second. So this problem's easy. The numbers are rather irritating, but all I'm going to do is 1155. This is an easy question. Now, something to look out for. Somebody might very well, hint, give you this same problem but they make, th make this like a game of chicken and have the truck actually driving at the car in the problem. So I would like to ask a great question. What would be the only change in this problem if the truck was actually playing chicken with the car? Yeah, exactly. This velocity for this truck would be negative 20. That would be our only change. And that could definitely be something that happens anyway. Plus, oh, not plus. I'm actually to the part now where I should be hitting equals. Hey, I only know how I did that. Get away. Anyway, equals. In this case, the first M is my car. It's going 18 after the collision. Plus, here's my truck. And a lot of big numbers. It'd be nice if they had smaller numbers. But this is basically a large calculator question at this point. So I've got here... Well, 1155 times 25 plus 9600. Let's go back and do some parentheses there so I don't mess this up. 9600 times 20 equals that huge number. And now I need to subtract the product of those two. So minus the product of 1155 times 18 and then my last step mathematically after I subtract the product of this MV will be to divide by the mass of the truck so we'll divide by 9600 and so we come out with a 20.8 meters per second so if you're trying to take a look and see what happened the trucks going 20 and somebody slams into this rear end well obviously it's going to give them a little boost forward and so it speeds his velocity up to 20.8 now this question also asks something that's very common find the kinetic energy before and after this collision so in other words i'm going to do something find the kinetic energy before they hit well all i've got to do is this remember the equation for kinetic energy is just one half mv squared so all I'm going to do is I'm going to find the kinetic energy for this MV, the kinetic energy for this MV, the kinetic energy for this MV, and the kinetic energy for this MV. Now, usually this problem, that you do this with like hitting sticks. But anyway, we'll go with what this one is. Uh, let's go with red. So I'm going to have a one-half M. Let's see if I can get rid of that. I'm, I'm going to actually put in numbers. So I'm going to have a one-half 11.55 times 25 square and I'm going to have another kinetic energy one half of 9600 times 20 square this is actually a very easy problem it's just mathematically it's kind of a pain because of these big numbers here so let's see if we can do this I'm going to do it in parentheses one half times 11 55 times 25 square and I'm going to go ahead and add this in my calculator because the kinetic energies on the right are going to combine. Half times 96. Ooh, too many 96. 9600 mm, times 20 square means that the total kinetic energy on the left 
is what is that? Two million two hundred and eighty thousand nine hundred and thirty seven point five joules. That's all the kinetic energy, and we'll call this before. So that's a lot of kinetic energy. Now I'm going to go ahead and wager something. When we add up the kinetic energy on the right side, it's not going to match. So let's just see if we're right here. So on the other side of this problem, I'll write it in blue. We'll have one half of 1155. That's not blue, but anyway, we'll survive. Times 18 square plus one half 9600 times 20.8 square. Now let's do the kinetic energy for this right side. So I'm going to get this calculator out of my way. Here we go, one more time. Half times 1155 times 18 square plus half times 9600 times 20.8 square and this is a very common thing to be asked what we got here two million two hundred and sixty three thousand seven hundred and eighty two joules now what most of the time the questions ask is this how much energy is lost so all i'm going to do is take the difference of my kinetic energy before in this case i've got my kinetic energy after they run into each other. I'm just going to subtract the difference from each other. So 2280937.5 minus my answer. I've got 17, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll write, oh, I'm going to get crazy with it. Let's say 17.15, 17.25. 17 .2 kilojoules of energy was lost in this collision and that is not what the answer on my page says but that's all right i have greater faith in me than to believe that so anyway this is going to be my answer and i'm sticking with it so if anybody feels i did mess something up somewhere it would be great if you would post a comment or something to let me know but anyway uh peace out hot wings oh it reminds me i'm very hungry although my stomach's been a little upset never mind later later